Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, Yo. I was down downtown Austin, uh, mm. and I kept and I kept seeing like these weird cars. Um, they're like they I don't know. They're kind of they look almost like a Ford Focus. Um, so they're kind of like smallish, but not super small. And they had like these little like there was three like. N- they look like nubs on the top of it, and I thought it honestly was a Google Maps car. Like, you ever seen? Have you ever seen the Google Maps car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then I started seeing like numerous of them, and I'm like, well, there's not like seven goddamn Google Maps cars driving around downtown Austin. Are you talking about the Cybertruck? No, no, no. Is this a Cybertruck? Ford thing? Focus. Do you know what Ford Focus? It's like a, it's like a I Geo mean, Metro kind yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, I guess a car. It's not a truck. Yeah, yeah. So, so I've seen numerous of these. And I looked on the side of the tr- the car, and it was like, oh, they're called. They, there's crews on the side of it. So I looked it up. They're they're fucking driverless cars, man. I didn't notice there wasn't people driving them. Like there's no driver, and they drive around downtown, and they're for ride share. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. you get in, and it's just they they only operate in like a distinct area downtown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but these mm-hmm. things are just driving around, dude. Like there's I, the other day, I, w- I went down there to watch a football game with some people, and I was leaving. I saw like four of them. Like they came, they're all coming to intersections together, and like just driving around waiting for rides. No driver. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was a real thing going on in Austin right now. <laughs> all right, well, let me make a joke at your expense first. Let's start out with one of those in Boomer news. Driverless cars are a thing. Did you know they were having ride share already? Yes. <laughs> of course I did, man. Just like uh, over the last holiday that just happened, there was like a major pile up of those cruise cars in downtown Austin, where there was like seven of them that couldn't figure out how to get around each other. It's like they got into a, a mental game of, sta- of uh, checkmate or stalemate. They got into a mental stalemate with each really? other. Yeah, man, look, man, it's it's 2023, man. You live in one of the hip, most hip-happening cities, man. So, yeah, if it's happening in L.A., it's happening here, you know? Well, but it's not happening in L.A. Uh, Yeah. I'll tell you exactly where it's happening <laughs> because I just looked at the goddamn website and <laughs> L.A. Me. was not on the list. Okay, well, I just assumed that L.A. would yeah, be on because uh, it's a very it is in happening city. Phoenix, San Francisco, and Austin. Okay, so only, out of San Francisco, fine. Are the only three areas where it's going. I apologize that I substitute my L.A. for San Francisco. I mean, people in L.A. will be pissed if you called it San Francisco. <laughs> people in San Francisco would be pissed if they called, yeah, got called L.A. Stupid. I've never been to either one, so I, I don't understand the uh, animosity. But yeah, yeah, man, driverless cars are a thing. Would well, you, I knew that you... like, Tesla has self-driving and yada yada. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that they had cars on the road that were just driving around by themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah. Yeah, so I guess like, hey, don't say boomer news. I'm less of a boomer because I didn't know about it. <laughs> I don't know. That. I'm pretty sure that makes you more of a boomer. I don't you know, know man. It. I'll make you a boomer. <laughs> um, so how do you feel about it? You know, let let's get let's get the boomer reacts. Uh, I would ride in it, dude. Why not? We'll order one up. Let's let's take it around. Would, the block. Next time we're downtown, let's just take a ride. Right. We'll film and put it on the YouTube channel. I'll be like, bro, look at the no driver. Or I'll sit in the driver's seat and be like, no hands. <laughs> You'll sit in the driver. I don't think you can sit in the driver's seat. That's lame. They don't want you manipulating the instruments and then trying to take out a false claims report. I'm sure there's like, uh, I wonder if people have sex in those because there's no driver. Um, There's cameras. So, I mean, you're more well, it's than. It's like a taxi cab confessions, bro. Exactly. Yeah. You're more than free to have sex, but you're going to be recorded and probably fined. You know what? We just start driving Uber. And when we mm, pick people up, we yeah. do taxi cab confessions. We do like a podcast in the Uber with oh. the people who get like you'll already be in the back seat when we show up. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> they go to call an Uber. You're already in the back seat with a microphone, and you're like, "Welcome to the Crazy Town Uber." And then they're like, "I'm never getting in this car uh, ever." Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's against uh, terms and services. Like people ain't doing. I see people <laughs> dual dropping off DoorDash. The F. What? Dri- you, Uber and DoorDash? Could you imagine? Like, you I've seen people driving around with, like, their partner. Like, you and your girl just go DoorDash together. You drive, she runs it up to the door. Oh, yeah. I've seen that happen. People I've, get jobs to get away from their spouse. Yeah. I've seen people have their kids helping them with DoorDash and dropping oh, food off. Oh, they're slave laboring them. 
I mean, that's They're like, what listen, kids, that's I pay what for your are. food. Go run this McDonald's up to Tony. Yeah, I mean, look, the kids have to work off that hospital bill for somebody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, they do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Your kid, yes, your kid should go get you a beer from the refrigerator. Yes. And take out the trash, too. Yes. Yeah, light your smoke for you. Yes. Yeah, put it out on their skin. <laughs> you know? yes. No. No. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I always went and got. I always loved my parents. Like, go get me a beer. I was like, yay! And I'd like run and get it. I was happy about it. <laughs> Why did you make the? That was a certain type of yay that you said there. I'm just I saying. I don't know. Is that that yay was not I, like? I it. don't know what you're talking about. Makes me the better person. Oh, just... do that yay one more time. <laughs> yay! Yeah, man. There's a little something behind oh, that wow. yay. Well, there's a little something behind I'm that. Less judgy than you are. No, I'm just saying it's like that yay wasn't like the yay of like a you know a person with all their mental capacities you type to say of yay. I'm making fun of people with handicaps. I wouldn't say that. You just you said would say that. You just said mental capacity. What other? What other? What else do you mean by that? It sounds to me like you've come to a conclusion that you feel guilty about. I'm the one. I don't know what you're talking about. You're trying to make. You're trying to gaslight it just me. It sounded like it sounded a little, little. Why are you trying to hurt my emotions? Okay, but... it wasn't like two re's, but there was one re on that yay. Wow. I'm just saying. Damn. All right. One. All right. Well, when people judge in the comments, we'll know who they're gonna judge. Who it ain't gonna... me. Ah. Uh, hmm. Mm, I wonder. Nope. I was I was making a kid yay because kids are stupid and kids do dumb shit all the time. They are dumb. They they are they are. Some I was of the a stupid creatures. kid and I was like yay beer. Mm. Like that's it, dude. That's, that's all I was doing. Yeah, there's another question there. Why were you a kid saying yay beer? See, you no, know, lots of questions. That's a question about my parents. You want to talk to them? I'll lots, get her on the podcast. Lots of questions about your upbringing, Jones. Lots of questions. They're honestly, illuminating to your the person that we. You see know what's really today. funny? I, I will never forget the day you said this to me What's that? you one day were like you were like you know for someone who never went to church <laughs> you're not half bad or you don't have you yeah, have pretty yeah, decent yeah, yeah. morals or something and i was like <laughs> is that a compliment <laughs> i don't know i, I was like, just, always just assume that like uh i guess people who didn't go to church were like assholes and like you know i guess that's probably like church what do you call that uh, not brainwashing. It's like, but, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, if you're not one of us, you're against us. Yeah, and it's not. I wouldn't say it's brainwashing, even though it kind of yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, a level is. is Don't hang out with those people. I would say it's conditioning. I was definitely conditioned to think that most people. Well, yeah, just, just like any other cult. Like you hang out with someone from outside the cult, they're like, "What are you doing with him?" I mean, yeah, that's Joey. He's not part of this. Oh cult. yeah, his mom doesn't come to the cult meetings. Then you're hanging out with the bad crowd. Yeah, exactly. The kid got mixed in with the wrong crowd. Yeah, he got mixed in with the non-Jesus folk. <laughs> Funny enough, man, half of them Jesus folk are, <laughs> are worse <laughs> off than yeah, many others. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's why I never get mad at, 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 at Jesus folk when they try to spit that Jesus message. Oh, I love you. when they do. D do you? Yeah, let's roll. Let's Jesus it up, man. I, I've never seen you invite one Christian on this podcast to, to talk about Jesus. When, when do we ever had, talk about religion you or have politics? Never, you've never had a Christian on this podcast. You've never had a conservative on this podcast. Excuse me, you're conservative and a Christian. You've you're never here every had, fucking episode, so don't give me that shit. You've never had a woman on this podcast, and if you say I'm one of those two, then <laughs> <laughs> we've had Melody Pang on here. I don't know who that is. You anymore. absolutely know who that is. Listen, you've never we've had. We had people from improv we, we had joe you've you've never had a minority on this podcast <laughs> you've never had <laughs> and honestly i think it it needs to change yeah i think it needs to change all yep. right i feel like we're a, divi a diverse podcast <laughs> other know. than it's mainly men but we talk about men's stuff okay so who is more diverse me or <laughs> <laughs> I said the podcast, not a podcast. <laughs> just like if you were to put a number on our diversity scales, where would you put me on that spectrum? <laughs> Who's the diversity Your here? Conservative huh? woman. I'm minority. Woman minority. Oh, no. I'm all these things. A woman. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I would. I don't have a lot of diversity in me, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to put my. Uh, speaking of women, I think I'm going to put my Minecraft. Uh, just what I have built so far. I think we'll just slap it up on a channel. I missed opportunity. This is completely off topic, but you oh, said it's fine. We're right. You said you said woman, and it made me think of how feminine my. Uh, you my paint your is. pink house. I do have a big pink house that I have dubbed. Are you the gonna do like a tour video? Like yeah, I come, think, come see my house. No, see, the thing is, is that I put a lot of work into that old Minecraft world that I had had, and I had, like, all the villagers, and I had, like, the whole village set up to the point where I was like, oh, wow, I feel oh, like yeah, I lived dude, here. you had a whole thing. And then I never took any video of it, so I only have, like, the memories. Oh, you want to document it. Yeah, and I feel like this, the build I have now, I feel like it even supersedes the one I did You can before, document your coolness on the channel forever. And, I, and then I can go back, and then I can look at my pink house if it ever Are you going to put a video of your away. Minecraft shrine on there, too? My Minecraft shrine. <laughs> That's funny. I do not have a Minecraft shrine. <laughs> this I came have, up the other day, so I figured I'd bring I it up. I have a Naruto shrine. <laughs> Which one's right, cooler? Thank you. Anyways, that's all that we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. See you too. Oh, yeah.